Apple Pay results over the first month exceed some of the expectations. We already hear what to expect for Android 5.0.2 Lollipop, and Apple's third-party keyboard policies are throwing the concept down the drain. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, do what I do. You should stop complaining about Mondays at some point. Just not today. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's begin today with what's official as uh, Asus has been one of those companies that has been teasing a lot of what we should expect for CES. We have already been invited to their event and one of the things that we are expecting is their Zen phones to be launched. But interesting, we've got these really cool teaser videos that are in the links in the description and they show us a smartphone with a very interesting design and buttons at the back like the LG G3 and G2. Uh, let's see how that looks in the end as probably these aren't buttons, we don't know. Now, even though Android 5.0.1 hasn't really reached anybody, at least officially, uh, we already hear what to expect with Android 5.0.2. And if you're expecting major changes, it seems that the whole Jelly Bean concept and uh, the whole KitKat concept is dead. These .1 updates and .2 updates are pretty much just uh, improvements to bugs, and apparently that's what we should expect. In addition to some changes and enhancements to the way Android handles alarms, hopefully it will do a better job eventually. We don't know exactly when the this launch would happen, specifically because we have to wait for the first one, uh, but uh, yeah, it could happen early next year. And speaking of Android 5.0.1, let's talk about the first OEM that's showing it off. Let's talk about HTC. We get the first leaked screenshots of Sense, whichever version it'll be, running on 5.0.1. We had seen some previously, but these were of a new alpha. Uh, this looks more like something that's almost ready to launch. We heard that HTC would probably push this in early January, and uh, yeah, it seems that the, the whole Lollipop UI is being adapted to the existing version of Sense, but this is actually a good thing. The animations are coming. Uh, but we are also looking at this new easy mode for entry-level users, uh, which is great. Let's see uh, when we get this launch. January 5th was being teased. Now, a company that's clearly making things difficult for developers is Apple. None of us are really happy with third-party keyboards, but now developers are starting to complain as apparently the company wants to change the way Nintype works. Nintype is cool because it's one of these keyboards that actually allows you to switch the keyboard into a calculator without your need to have to multitask to a calculator, which is common sense. It's really cool, but Apple is requesting that Nintype remove this feature as of the next update, and they're asking for the next update to happen soon. We don't really know exactly exactly why this is happening, but uh, Apple's already crippled concept is just going down the drain. And finally, for the very interesting news of the day, if you thought that Apple Pay would be a flop, it could be, but it hasn't been just yet. We've got the first numbers of how things happened during its first month, which was November. And the company pretty much took 1% of online retail and digital retail, which is big. It's huge. We don't have an exact numbers as to how much that amounts in dollars, but we do know that 60% uh, of users were using Apple Pay twice, meaning they tried it once, they liked it, and they did it again, which is great, and that amounted to 1.4 transactions a week in NFC payments alone. We're not talking about online payments, which is actually separate. And these numbers are significantly better than other services that are digital, like PayPal, for example. Uh, so yeah, it seems that Apple came up to a good start, but it could also be that people are just giving it a try. And that leads me to the question of the day. What do you think Apple did right with Apple Pay that Google didn't do with its uh, wallet? Because in my case, honestly, if you look at these services, they're pretty much the same thing. I don't really notice a difference. I just think that Apple did a better job at marketing it and at partnering with companies. But leave us a comment down below. What do you think that Apple did right? Friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video was filmed, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.